It's Wednesday, uh, March 4th, 2018. It's 10 a.m. I just started out my shed hunt. I'll go out for about five or six hours and see what I can find. I'm walking through this big old timber in here. There's quite a bit of uh, fresh elk sign in here. I just started, I'm about five kilometers from the car, straight back. It looks really nice in here. There's a rub right there from a deer. Anyways, I looked, I looked over to my right and I just about walked past it. There's a white tail shed there. I don't know if it's from this year or last year. Where the base of that tree? Go and take a look at it. Squirrel must have taken it in here because it can't see a deer dropping it that close. It's been eaten from a squirrel. Just gonna leave it. Squirrels have gotta have something too. It's a real shame they gotta take out this big timber here. Wintering grounds for the Prey. I got it ribboned every uh, 30 feet. Yeah, I don't like them taking this big timber, but they got to make a living the loggers. Wish they'd pick on some smaller stuff. Nice and open through here. Been about uh, it's 1 30 in the afternoon. I've been, been four and a half hours almost on my shed hunt. Starting to get tired in my vehicles. At least straight as a uh, crow flies, it's at least um, five or six kilometers from here. And I've been zigzagging all over the place. so. Probably put on about seven kilometers today. Shut her down and go from about maybe another 15 minutes up to there and make a big circle and head back. The elk have been wintering in here because there's a set of tracks there with the uh, snow we had yesterday in them. And there's another set there of elk tracks. So I like this big timber in here at a bed. Looks so good, I don't feel like I want to turn around. I'm tired, but it's you know it's so nice. I want to just keep going. I'll go a little ways more. The elk they really like it in here. This is about the sixth rub I found in here in the last uh, you know 15 minutes or so. It's last year's rub that one. Another tree right there. Lots of rubs in here. I've never seen so many rubs in one area. That's about the thirtieth rub. That's from an elk. That one. See that one showing out too. He whacked it up there. It's 
an old scar there from a deer. We haven't found a shed yet in here, you know. It's a prime area. I was right. This is where they're going to put the road in. They fell all these big trees here. Such a shame. Yeah, it goes right along there. The road's going to go right through here. You know, a wildlife branch, they put a road closure in here. You know, and yet they can come in here and log it out. It just doesn't make sense to me. You know, they want to protect the animals. Well, this ain't protecting the animals. Taking all this big uh, old growth out. Not helping the animals one bit. But then again, the loggers have got to make a living. I'm right at the end of this here uh, fallen timber here and I'm going to go up, up through this straw here and I look to my right and there's a white tail shed, it's from this year. It looks like it is anyway. There it is, right there. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I've been going you know, a long time since uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, it's a fresh one, and it has been chewed. It's a nice little uh, four-point. On my walk, and it's paid off. There it is. Awful close, that tree. I can't believe how close it is. Anyways, it's a good find. I'll pick it up, take a picture, and pick it up. There's some elk bedded in here in the timber in here. There's the bed here, and there's the tracks. And there's one bed there. There's another bed. This is where you, a person, you know, should find an elk shed in here, you know. It's big timber, they like bedding in here. But I guess I'm not lucky enough today, but at least I found a whitetail shed. It's better than nothing. I didn't get the skunk. Coming downhill here, right in front of me, there's a shed from last year. A little whitetail, three point. It's last year's, but it's in the open and it hasn't been chewed. Cute little three point. Anyways, I'll pick it up about uh, two kilometers from my car, maybe a little further. And it's uh, 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon. Really pay attention to my surroundings in here, it's pretty thick. My vehicle's that way about uh, a kilometer and a half away. 
It's 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. It's April 4th, 2018. I know something, I'm getting tired. I've been going since 10 this morning. Yeah, I keep really aware of my surroundings in here because there's grizzlies out right now. And I'm really looking around because this is the kind of thick stuff that you you don't see them until you're on top of them. So you really gotta watch it in here. There's a rub from two years ago. Anyways, I'll shut her down and peg her to my car. Well, I'm back to the car. That was a long hike today. Probably put on around about uh, 14 kilometers. It's uh, just after 5 p.m. in the evening. Anyways, I'm glad to see that car. Unloaded the shotgun. Go home and have a nice stiff drink of rye to soothe old uh, muscles. <laughs> 